Oh my God, I'm eating my hair. Am I really calling underwear my best friend? They are long as shit. It's a little bit risky. Oh my God, I can't move my eyes. I knew I was gonna burn my ear. I literally just fell off my chair. Uh, I'm not questioning it. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy Vlogmas Day 4. For today's video, we are going to be doing a good old sit down, get ready with me. I'm gonna be showing you guys my makeup, hair, picking out an outfit, getting dressed together. It's gonna be a good old time, so let's get right into it. We're gonna jump into some primer first. This is my holy grail. I literally cannot do my makeup without it. The Merit Glow Day Serum. This is bomb. It does come out a little crazy, so just be careful. But I take about like three pumps. I obviously already did my skincare so now i'm just putting this right on top as my primer i will be doing a updated morning skincare routine video soon during vlogmas so stay tuned for that i don't really know what type of eyeshadow look that i want to go for I feel as if i want to do a wing liner today that's a little bit risky not the best when it comes to wing liner but i'm gonna use tape the only tape i have for my eyeshadow is double-sided tape so we're gonna make this work every time i really want my eyeshadow to be powerful and booming and sharp and snatched. Tape just acts as a guide that really helps me create the perfect wing liner as well. Oh my God, I can't move my eyes. All right, prime the lids. I'm just using a concealer. This is Instabake. Personally use concealer just to cancel out any redness and make sure that it's like an even canvas for my eyeshadow. Whenever I'm doing like a heavier eyeshadow look, I'm always going to start with my eyes first. Half the time I hate it and then I end up starting all over. It's easier to just wipe your eyes than your whole entire face. Shocker, I'm gonna go in with my Mario Master Mats palette. This is truly one of a kind. I don't think there's ever going to be an eyeshadow palette that's better than this. It has all your mattes, the transition shades, like every single shade you're ever going to need. If you love matte shadow, this is it. This light brown and then this darker brown, I always mix these two and throw those right into my crease. And I'm also using the Sephora 26 brush. I'm gonna take a darker brown, this one right here, grab some of that and focus this on the outer part of my crease just to deepen it and darken it a little bit. I always make sure to have a clean fluffy brush on the side just to go back in and make sure everything is blending together. This is one of the brushes from the Amazon makeup brush set, the Jessup brushes. These are phenomenal. You'll see me using them in this video because they just make my makeup literally look airbrushed. I'm gonna take this like pencil blending brush and pick up this darkest brown in the palette and just focus this on the lash line. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush again and just really blend that out because I do wanna use an actual liner. I'm gonna take a flat shader brush, pick up this light white kind of bone color and this peachy color for my lid and also underneath the brow bone. I definitely wanted my eyeshadow to be a little bit warmer. I feel like it's on the cool tone side. I'm gonna pick up my MAC Give Me Sun and just run a little bit of this in my crease because I want it a little bit warmer. Oh, I forgot I had this. It's a brown metal eyeliner. This is from NYX. Oh, it is so pretty. It kind of has a little bit of shimmer in it. Bear with me, I have to get so close to a mirror. Okay, I know I look crazy. I hope once I take off this tape, it looks good. They are long as shit. I always get carried away. Like I kind of look like I'm about to fly away. We're gonna put lashes on before I do my face makeup. These are the lashes that I'm going to put on. The Naked Lash 422. These kind of just like flare up at the end since we're doing a wing. I really want the focus to be on the outer corner. I'm sure everybody already knows this, but I always get my lash glue on before I curl my lashes and put mascara on. And this is the House of Lashes Black Lash Glue. I always use black now because it just hides that band a little bit more i'm going to curl the lashes I'm gonna pop on some mascara this is the ilia mascara i'm not the best when applying lashes but these ones do make it a lot easier for yourself because the band is so thin that's why i really like the naked lash all right is it on I feel like that was way too good to be true. Uh, I'm not questioning it. Moving on to the other eye. And 
that is that. Lashes are on. Eyeshadow is cute and all, but I always do the same thing. Neutral browns, nothing crazy. I'm gonna challenge myself and a little bit later in Vlogmas, we're gonna do like a full blown crazy makeup look. You see anything crazy on Pinterest, on Instagram, please tag me. I wanna see your ideas and see what you think I can do. That'd be really fun. Yes, that actually, that's an idea. I'm gonna let you guys pick my next makeup look. So send them my way. My brows are thankfully laminated, so I do not have to do those, which literally is such a lifesaver. If I'm using a serum primer, I will put that on completely before everything else, just so it sinks in before I go in with like my foundation and stuff like that. And then after my eyeshadow, I will always go in with a little setting spray. This is apparently how you're supposed to use it like spray your face before your makeup during and then after and it really locks your makeup in this is the urban decay all-nighter the cactus flower vitamin c water whenever i want a full coverage glam makeup look this is my holy grail foundation the nars natural radiant longwear foundation it literally is facetune in a bottle very lightweight too so it doesn't feel super heavy on the skin but it covers everything i'm also going to mix in the nars light reflecting foundation because i like how this is a little bit more glowy wait a minute i'm gonna go in with some flawless filter first just on the high points of my cheeks i don't want to put it down here because i'm breaking out and i just don't want this applicator on my breakouts and a little bit on my forehead hmm, not my chin i like shearing it out with my finger first i have no idea what i'm wearing tonight but my neck got a match this is my favorite foundation brush but it is so dirty right now i literally cannot use it but this is from the amazon makeup brush set i'm obsessed with this i literally got these brushes maybe two weeks ago and i've been using them every single day i'm so in love so dirty i gotta wash it i literally cannot use it so i'm gonna use this foundation brush first to blend everything in this is the morphe m439 brush basically like stamping this into the skin this is when I will go in with that setting spray again and then go in with the beauty blender. This is my favorite cream bronzer stick. This is from Fenty. It's their matchstick in the shade Truffle. This is like the perfect color. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's just the perfect balance of both of them. Also gonna pick up this Sonia Kashuk buffing blender brush. It's very tiny. Get a nice precise application. I don't know, sometimes if I'm feeling lazy, I will apply it directly on or I'll do what I'm doing right now. This kind of just warms up that product and makes sure your brush is completely covered. Oh my god. We're not gonna talk about it. We'll blend it out. I always place it where I want and then we'll blend it out. I don't know what the f happened with this cheek. This is why I do cream bronzer first though, because then I will go back in with my concealer and clean everything up. Oh my god. I look crazy. I'm gonna take my beauty blender, blend that all out. This is why I like the Fenty Match Stick. It blends out so easily. I can't believe I fing did that. I was just getting so much on my brush. I could literally do a full-blown video on all the blushes that I love. Okay, these three are my favorite. Say Dew Blush in the shade Dreamy, Fenty Cheeks Out Blush in the shade Petal Poppin', and Nude Sticks Naughty and Spice. Oh, these three are so good. I'm gonna do Say Dew Blush in the shade Dreamy. Just one dot. I'm gonna take this Real Techniques Tapered Cheek Brush. Look how far that one drop went. The concealer, I use two because we're going in with the makeup today. First concealer is the Lancome one. I do a little line here and right there to carve out the wing liner. Chin, just a little bit, and then also on my forehead. And I will take some as well, right underneath the cheek. gonna take the hourglass vanish this is really to brighten up the under eye so i'm only gonna put this here and a little bit right underneath pretty much where i placed the last concealer only underneath my eyes and this time i'm gonna take a brush morphe v105 brush really concentrate right in the corner and then taking that brush and going right underneath that wing to lift it a little bit this brush is also perfect to bring it up the sides of your nose to clean up that cream bronzer. This is the setting brush from the Jess Soup makeup brushes. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm just gonna take a little bit of translucent powder. This is the hourglass one. Lightly set right underneath my eyes. 
my chin, right here on my pores, and then on my forehead. I'm gonna use Mario Bronzer in the shade Medium Dark. And I kind of just tap this exactly where I want it instead of rubbing it all around. This is the NARS Powder Blush in the shade Amore. It's like the perfect peachy, corally pink. Nose as well, forehead again, and my chin. Before I do anything else, we are going to set the skin. I wanna do a little bit of baking underneath. Okay, that should be good. I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow palette, pick up the colors that I used for my transition, smudge this underneath my lash line, nothing crazy, I don't want it too dark. I'm gonna pick up my highlighter drops because I wanna use these on my eyes as well. Iconic London Illuminator Drops. There's just a few products in my life that I never need to replace because they just work so well. This is one of them. Actually, pretty much everything that I've used today, I haven't replaced in a while because if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Oh, it's like Rudolph with some highlight and just a tiny bit in the tear duct. Just makes the eyes pop and for my instance, it opens my eyes a little bit and I go back to my eyelash curler, curl the fake lashes with my natural. Look at the difference. If you can even see one, not really, but whatever. Gonna take my iconic London setting spray. This is more so like a finishing spray in my opinion and it gives a beautiful glow. And now to really make sure my under eye doesn't go anywhere and to make it look super airbrushed, I'm going to take my powder puff. This is from Beauty Blender. It is a little bit dirty, don't judge me. I have to wash it. I'm gonna pick up some Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder, press that right underneath my eye and this is going to literally make it look like doll skin. Like, do you see the difference? It's insane. I feel like I should do my lips at the very, very end. Just gonna brush my hair first. I honestly only do maybe like two sections because I get hella lazy. I'm going to clip my hair. Oh, we're using these jaw clips, I think that's what they're called. Um, heat protectant. This is the hot toddy one from Dry Bar. I forgot what this was called. Hairspray from Aveda. This one specifically works the best because it's like a medium hold hairspray. So it's not gonna make your hair like crunchy. It's just going to make your hair hold the curl better. I'm using a wand because this is the only thing I know how to curl my hair with. The bottom half, I will go opposite directions every other piece. So this one I'm curling backward and then the next piece I'll curl towards my face. I don't know why I just said it like that. Let it cool down in my hand and then I kind of like press it against my head and then let it drop. Ooh. <laughs> oh, 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 ow, ow, I knew it. I knew I was going to burn my ear. Oh my God. Ow. I feel like no matter how focused I am on getting a middle part, it's never directly in the center. Oh my God, I'm eating my hair. This little freaking piece is supposed to be on the left, but just wants to be to the right. All right, whatever. chair and knock everything oh ah. last night birdie slept with me and she literally basically tucked herself in on my side of the bed i always sleep on this side and i had to sleep on that side of the bed last night but you slept so comfy huh she loves when i get ready she just sits here waits for me final spritz i'm sorry bird please don't inhale i'm so sorry i'm not gonna brush them out yet but let's pick out an outfit. Let's get dressed. I know for a fact I wanna wear my leather pants. Just kidding, I completely lied. I don't wanna wear my leather pants because I think I'm gonna wear my white boots. And I've already, I already did the leather with the white boots. Do I wanna wear black pants? What the do I wanna wear? Nah, we're gonna wear jeans. Do I wanna wear these? Okay, these are more so tapered at the end. So I think that would be cute. American Eagle jeans. These are like, American Eagle has the best jeans. They're very comfortable, stretchy. They're great. How do you feel about jeans? 
Jeans are cute, right? I don't really have any cute tops, so I'm gonna go to my mom's closet and see what the fuck she got. I just went through my mom's closet. She didn't really have shit. So I went to my dad's closet and I found this really cute navy blue. It looks black, but it's navy blue sweater it's like a zip up and i feel like this is just like a cute cozy vibe and it will go perfectly with the jeans and the white boots yes yes bitch high five got it this might be tmi i don't really know but since i'm wearing jeans there's no chance in hell i'm gonna wear a thong these are my favorite freaking underwear these are from airy they're like a satin material they're cheeky they have this cute little string on the side I forget what these are called, but they're my best, my best, my best friend. Am I really calling underwear my best friend? They're my favorite. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, that was pretty easy. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, I'm gonna have to bring the more color down. I'm just gonna take some bronzer, fluffy brush. This is definitely giving a preppy vibe. As soon as I put on a lip, game over. Let me grab some jewelry. I added this pearl necklace. This is from Brian Anthony's. This chain is from Amazon. All of my earrings. This is a set of earrings that I got from Amazon. Pretty much all of my jewelry is from Amazon. Some of my rings are from Brian Anthony's. This is from Brian Anthony's. This one's from Brian Anthony's. The one below it is from Amazon. And then this pearl is from Amazon. This one's tarnishing a little bit, but whatever. I always forget about bracelets. Watch that I thrifted i don't know where the hell it's from but it's so cute i love this watch it's just so dainty and perfect it's definitely like a vintage vibe and then these two bracelets my knockoff cartier amazon obviously this bracelet is also from amazon it's just like fake diamonds i always joke with cody and tell him that as soon as he buys me a wedding ring then i'll start wearing real jewelry and he's like what do you mean real jewelry and i was like well right now all the jewelry that i wear is out fake from Amazon. Amazon's jewelry is great, but like sometimes it breaks, I lose it. But if it's something expensive, obviously I'll treat that. Oh my God, I can't get this bracelet. But you know what I'm trying to say. Cute. Jewelry just literally levels up any outfit. We're gonna do a lip before I forget. What time is it? Five o'clock. I'm getting picked up at 5.30. We're gonna play it safe and just go with MAC Whirl Lip Liner. Then I'm gonna pair that with Kosas Lip Gloss in the shade Bare. This is just like a beautiful brown lip gloss. Oh yeah, that's everything. It's so cute. I'm gonna put those two products in my pocket so I don't forget to bring them with me. I'm gonna take a little pick and brush out my hair. This is the most satisfying part. We do all this work just to get natural, bouncy waves. I'm actually not gonna brush it out too much because I do want my curls to last till tomorrow. These are my favorite from Windsor. They're just like the perfect heel, super comfortable to wear. Anything with a platform, they're super comfortable. So we're gonna throw these on. Oh yeah. This is cute. This is the outfit. My dad's gonna see me in this sweater and be like, what else do you have of mine? I gotta send a picture because everybody keeps asking me what I'm wearing. So this is what I'm wearing. All right, guys, that is going to complete this get ready with me. I hope you enjoyed. I miss doing sit down, get ready with me's for YouTube. I just always end up doing them on TikTok. I am going to bring them back. Like I said, the next makeup look that we're gonna do is gonna be a full blown holiday look. So if you see anything you think I could rock, accomplish, tag me in it, cause I'm gonna let you guys pick. I think that would be a fun and cute idea to incorporate you guys into Vlogmas. Oh, before I forget, we cannot leave without perfume. Favorite perfume to go out with this is Prada candy it is just everything it smells so good and I also mix that with the Sol de Janeiro body spray and I put this in my hair too sorry bird don't inhale don't inhale deodorant thank you for getting ready with me I hope you enjoyed vlogmas day four I'll see you tomorrow love you bye